News, CNN News 18 exclusive on the India Qatar talks as Qatar is going to be an important partner for India we are learning and Prime Minister Modi has also wanted to pay up us his own personal gratitude for an obligation that Qatar made in fact top government sources tell CNN News 18 that Prime Minister's visit to Qatar is extremely important and crucial especially in terms of Indian diplomacy and energy security they have huge gas storage for the next 25 to 30 years and this is an important factor for India especially as far as as green energy commitments of our own country is concerned. We are also getting fertilizers from Qatar and 6 lakh Indians are working here. Of course, this impo uh, important visit is also to acknowledge the obligation that Qatar has made uh, as far as India is concerned by releasing those former Navy personnel that were held up by Qatar. For more details, let's quickly go across to our international news correspondent Abhishek who's on the phone line with me. Abhishek, of course, uh, there's much gratitude uh, from India which of course is uh, currently being embodied by our own Prime Minister over there. But having said that, how could India and Qatar sort of strengthen this bilateral sh uh, relationship further? Well, Akanksha, Qatar and India, they have had a bilateral uh, partnership and relationship going in the last uh, several decades and Qatar is one of the most biggest energy security provider to India which is uh, with the LNG, uh, LNG uh, export to India for a long uh, duration time. Even now we have about next 20 years of supply of LNG committed by Qatar uh, to India and also we have seen about 800,000 Indians live in Qatar which are part of Qatar's, Qatar's social and economic uh, aspects. And, uh, of course, the, the recent release of Navy veterans is the high point of the trust and deep uh, mutual ties that India and Qatar enjoy. And with the release of eight Navy personnel, of course, there is, it, it, it's, a, it's a positive signal that Qatar has given to India that they do trust, they do uh, care about India's worries and India's concerns. And uh, with, the, with the latest visit of Prime Minister, these uh, confidence-building measures is going to strengthen further the bilateral ties. Of course, Prime Minister will be discussing about the other regional issues also, which includes uh, the latest tension in the Gulf of Aden and uh, with Asia that has emerged out of Israel-Hamas conflict as well. Obviously, that's a, that's a very interesting point that you've made, considering we've seen how Qatar has always been an important mediator uh, whenever it comes to tensions in the Middle East, whether it was the Abraham Accords or uh, the latest recent tensions as far as Israel and Hamas are concerned. But having said that, talk about how India has also been emerging as a crucial and important uh, player as far as the geopolitics of Middle East is concerned, something that's been uh, made apparently evident by Prime Minister's visit to UAE now Qatar? Well, I can see uh, ever since Israel Hamas conflict, which has now clearly spilled over, and the last two to three months we have seen multiple attacks happening on uh, ships, cargoes passing through Gulf of Aden or Red Sea. Uh, India has sent about 10 naval ships in that region, which is not only escorting ships safely from that part, but also they have deterred many pirate attempts. Uh, they have been able to free uh, many kidnapped crew also, and they have also tried to ensure the freedom of navigation in that region. So India's growing interest in the Western Asia is not only a transactional relationship, but because of the emergence of India at the World Forum, because of the uh, kind of economic prowess India has exhibited, it needs to have an, a supply chain that is not deterred by global conflict. And if this global supply chain is disrupted in Gulf of Aden or Red Sea area, then clearly that will be having cascading effect on India's import, global import as well. That would be not good for, the, uh, for our own economy. So India's interest in uh, West Asia is also a bilateral relationship and how the regional uh, peace is maintained for the global uh, good. All right. Many thanks to you, Abhishek, for bringing in all those inputs. In